In this video, I'll teach you how to properly assign a material resource to a task in Microsoft Project. In Microsoft Project, were you aware that there's actually two different methods for assigning a material resource to a task? In this video, I'll teach you both of those methods, so let's get started. Before I show you the two proper ways to assign material resources to tasks in Microsoft Project, let me first show you the resources that are in my project team. So when I navigate to the resource sheet view, first notice that I have a generic work resource named Concrete Crew. Notice the type is set to work. Here is the initials. The max units value is set to 1200%, indicating that there are 12 full-time workers in the Concrete Crew. Also notice I've entered a standard rate of $50 an hour and an overtime rate of $75 per hour. That's per worker. Notice I have a second resource named Dale Howard. His name is formatted in red because he's currently assigned to a task where he's required to work seven days a week, which means that he is over-allocated as far as Microsoft Project is concerned. However, that's not a problem. He can work seven days a week on the task. When you see the task, I think you'll agree with me. Here's where it gets interesting. I have two material resources in this project. The first is 5,000 PSI concrete. Notice the type is set to material. Notice the material label value is cubic yards. In the Material Label column, this is where you enter how you measure the consumption of the material resource. Here in the United States, we measure the consumption of concrete in cubic yards. You'll also notice I put a clever little set of initials in for this resource, and I've set a standard rate at $150. That $150 means $150 per cubic yard. Now, by the way, as an aside, $150 is actually the current cost for 5,000 PSI concrete here in the Tampa Bay area of Florida at the time I'm recording this video. Notice I have a second material resource named gasoline. Again, the type is set to material. The material label this time is gallons. Notice I put a really clever set of initials in for gasoline, go figure. And also, at the time I'm recording this video, the price of a gallon of gasoline here in the Tampa Bay area on average is about $3.25 per gallon. Now let's talk about the proper way to assign material resources to tasks in Microsoft Project. There are two methods for assigning material resources in Microsoft Project. The first method is known as fixed consumption rate. You use this method when the amount of the material resource consumed does not depend on the duration of the task. That is exactly what is going on with my first task in this project, poor foundation for warehouse. I have a very reliable estimate of how much concrete we will need to pour the foundation and that amount does not depend on the 15 days duration. Therefore, I definitely need to use the fixed consumption rate for assigning my material resource concrete. 
Here's how to assign a material resource using a fixed consumption rate. Right mouse click anywhere in the white or gray part of the Gantt chart screen and choose Show Split on the shortcut menu. Then in the Task Form pane, select the material resource, in my case that's 5,000 PSI concrete. And then in the Units column, enter the amount of that material resource that will be consumed. You remember I said this is a huge warehouse. We will be consuming about 22,250 cubic yards. Enter that number in the units column and then click the OK button. I want you to notice what Microsoft Project just did. In both the work column and the units column, Microsoft Project entered the number 22,250 cubic yards. That's the amount of consumption that is fixed and will not change. So if the duration of the pour ended up taking 16 days, watch what happens to the 22,250. When I click the OK button, Notice the number does not change. That's how to assign a material resource using the fixed consumption rate method. The second method for assigning a material resource to a task is using the variable consumption rate method. You use this method when the amount of the material resource consumed depends directly on the duration of the task. That is certainly my situation with the second task in this project, road trip from Tampa to San Diego. I'm going to be driving from the Tampa Bay area of Florida to San Diego. I have an estimate of six days duration. I would like to track how much gasoline I consume on the trip. I need the variable consumption rate because the amount of gas I consume depends directly on the duration of the task. So in the task form pane, I'll go ahead and select gasoline. And then to enter a variable consumption rate, I'll tell Microsoft Project how much gasoline I'll use per day. My car gets pretty good mileage. So generally speaking, it'll take me about 14 gallons per day of driving. When I added the slash and the letter D for day, Microsoft Project now knows I'm entering this material resource using the variable consumption rate method. Also, when I click the OK button, notice now Microsoft Project says I'll be using 84 gallons of gas over the six days of the trip. However, I might take a couple side trips and spend a couple days around Flagstaff, Arizona, and maybe a couple days around Las Vegas while I'm on my way out to San Diego. So let's pretend that the road trip now is going to be 10 days. When I change the duration to 10 days and click the OK button, Notice now that Microsoft Project measures the consumption of the gasoline at 140 gallons. That's how the variable consumption rate works. Well, now you know both of the ways to assign a material resource to a task in Microsoft Project. I sure hope you found this video to be helpful to you. If it was, be sure and give it a like. 
share it with your colleagues, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click that notification button. And if you do have a question or comment about this video, please drop that in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.